Tailbot makes your kid the hero of their story. Pete's Enchanted Evening, Friendship's True Magic at Disneyland A Special Bedtime Story for Pete Once upon a time, in a cozy little house on the edge of town, there lived a cheerful four-year-old boy named Pete. Pete had sparkling eyes full of wonder and a smile that could light up the darkest room. His heart was as big as his dreams, and his dreams were as vast as the sky above. One sunny afternoon, as Pete was playing with his toy cars, his mom came in with a surprise that was about to turn his world into a whirlwind of magic and adventure. Pete, she said with a twinkle in her eye, how would you like to visit Disneyland and meet Mickey Mouse himself? Pete's eyes grew wide with excitement. Yes, please, he exclaimed, unable to contain his joy. As the day of the adventure approached, Pete could hardly sleep. He imagined the rides, the cotton candy, and, most of all, meeting his hero, Mickey Mouse. The night before their trip, Pete nestled into his bed, his head filled with dreams of the enchanting day ahead. The next morning, Pete and his mom arrived at Disneyland, the place where dreams come true. The air was filled with the sweet scent of popcorn and the cheerful melodies of the merry-go-round. Pete held his mom's hand tightly as they walked towards the iconic Cinderella castle, its towers reaching up towards the sky like fingers of fairy tale splendor. As they explored the park, Pete's eyes danced from one attraction to the next, each more dazzling than the last. Suddenly, he spotted a crowd gathered around a small stage. It's Mickey Mouse. Pete shouted, tugging at his mom's hand as they hurried over. Mickey Mouse, in all his glory, was indeed there, greeting children with his legendary warmth. Pete waited patiently in line, his heart pounding with anticipation. When it was finally his turn, Mickey bent down and gave Pete a big, friendly hug. Hiya, pal. Welcome to Disneyland. Mickey's voice was just as Pete had always imagined it. Pete beamed with happiness as he chatted with Mickey telling him all about his toy cars and how he wanted to be brave and kind, just like Mickey. Mickey listened intently, his eyes full of kindness. You know, Pete, Mickey said, the most important thing of all is friendship. Friends help each other, stand by each other, and make every adventure better. Mickey then whispered to Pete that he needed his help. My friend Goofy has misplaced his hat, and I'm supposed to start the parade soon. I can't leave my spot, or the children will be disappointed. Can you help me find it, Pete? Pete's chest swelled with pride. Mickey Mouse needed his help. He nodded eagerly and set off on the mission, his mom accompanying him as they searched high and low through the park. Tailbot, tailor-made tales for your child's dreams. As they wandered, Pete encountered other children, each with their laughter and excitement. He decided to ask them if they had seen Goofy's hat. The first was a girl with pigtails who shook her head but wished him luck. The second was a boy with a balloon who hadn't seen it either but joined Pete's quest, intrigued by the adventure. Together, they searched around the carousel, by the roller coasters, and even in the candy store. With each step, more children joined Pete's party, all eager to help Mickey. Pete felt a warm glow in his heart. He was making friends, just like Mickey said. The sun began to dip in the sky, casting a golden hue over Disneyland. Pete's new friends were about to give up when they heard a faint a hayek from behind a bush near the haunted mansion. It was Goofy, looking all over for his hat, which had flown off his head and landed on a high branch. With the help of his new friends, Pete devised a plan. The tallest child would lift Pete on their shoulders, and, with a careful reach, they might just be able to get the hat down. The plan worked. With a triumphant smile, Pete grabbed the hat and, together with his parade of new friends, rushed back to Mickey. As they arrived, the parade was just about to start. Pete handed the hat to Mickey, who beamed with pride. Thank you, Pete and thank you to all the new friends who helped," Mickey said, addressing the children. You've shown that friendship is the greatest magic of all. 
The parade was a burst of color and sound, with Pete and his friends leading the way with Mickey and Goofy. As the evening stars began to twinkle in the sky above, Pete realized he had learned an invaluable lesson, friendships make every journey worthwhile. That night, as fireworks painted the sky above Disneyland, Pete's mom hugged him close. You did a great job today, Pete, she whispered. Mickey was right. Friendship truly is magical. Pete nodded, his eyes heavy with sleep and his heart full of joy. As the final firework exploded in a cascade of sparkles, Pete drifted into a peaceful sleep, dreams of his magical day carrying him off into the night. And so, Pete's enchanted evening at Disneyland came to a close, not just with the excitement of the rides or the sweetness of the cotton candy, but with the warmth of new friendships that would last forever. For in the end, it wasn't just the magic of Disneyland that made Pete's adventure unforgettable, it was the laughter, the shared moments, and the unbreakable bonds of friendship, proving that the truest magic comes from the heart. Created by a kid and their parents using Tailbot, click the link in the video description to create your own story.